Hey guys, exhaustion will make you lower your standards. And this is, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm thinking right now is, you notice how you set out to do something, you're determined to do it, and all of a sudden, everything starts weighing on you, right? It's uh, the stress from life, it's the bills, you know, financial, relationships, rejection in the business, right? All this stuff starts to pile on top of us, and then what happens is we start to lower our standards. You know, the same thing applies to when you're working out. Let's say you say, hey, I'm gonna, let's just say you go, I'm gonna climb that mountain, right? I'm gonna climb this mountain back here. All of a sudden, when you get halfway up or three quarters up, you're exhausted, right? Your muscles are burning, you've got lactic acid in there, maybe you got a stomach ache, you're feeling lightheaded, whatever, right? It's the burden of the journey. And all of a sudden you go, you know what? I don't need to go all the way to the top. I've got a great view from right here. And that's what happens to us in our business, man. And we settle for less than we need to settle for because exhaustion makes you lower your standards. So how do we counterbalance that? I can only share with you what I've been able to do that works for me, and this is what it's been. I continually am having to push myself up mentally to have my mindset being strong. So I do that a few ways. I wake up and I write down my goals every day. I listen to or read criteria or information that helps me to either gain more knowledge, more confidence, to learn something. I put people around me that are positive. I get an environment, a brokerage, a group of people that are all moving in the same direction and have more time to congratulate than they do to hate. I, um, I prepare myself with expectations. I don't go into things thinking, oh, this is gonna be easy, this is gonna be no problem. I let myself know, hey, this is gonna be tough. Everything is tougher than what you think it's going to be. Everything usually takes more time than you think it's going to, to take. Same thing with resources and energy and all this stuff. So what you've gotta to do to make sure that you do not lower your standards, here we are, it's March 2021. You probably set a goal for this year. You probably set a New Year's resolution. Let me ask you. Are you still on track? Do you even remember what it was? Were you thinking about your resolution before you watched this video? If you didn't think about it 24 hours before watching this video, then basically you've already forgotten about it. I'm here to help remind you, to encourage you, to support you, to motivate you to say, hey, remember what you said, remember what you wanted. I know you're exhausted now. I know you've taken buyers out and you've written four or five offers that have gotten rejected. Maybe you've lost some buyers. Maybe you've went on listing appointments and maybe you haven't gotten them all. And the sellers, you know, for whatever reason, didn't want to work with you. We can work on those skills. Do not give up. Do not quit. Do not lower your standards. We do not lower our standards here. So hopefully this helps you um, stay motivated. Plug into the Monday morning coffee talks. Every Monday morning at 9 a.m., guys, me or a special guest is showing up for the benefit of you so that you can have your mind right as you begin the week, so that you can be motivated, have inspiration, seeing top producers that are sharing, seeing people at other companies and other organizations that are sharing for your benefit. Everything that Janet and I are doing are to help you reach your goals so that you don't have to lower your standards. Remember, you and your family are worth it. It's not going to be easy, right? Nothing ever is that is worth achieving. The bottom line is it will be worth it. I hope this helps you. Have a great day.